and welcome to Fem Tarot Channel. I'm Natalie, an intuitive tarot reader. This channel is all about enlightenment and empowerment, bringing together spiritually like-minded people who want to talk about all these topics that they can't talk with anybody else. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking into 2021. Yes, we can finally say goodbye to 2020. Good riddance. We don't want to know ya. Bye and moving forward and of course everyone is worried what is 2021 going to bring because most people are now under lockdown still or there are new lockdowns new lockdown phases going on there have been conflicting reports about the vaccine even though it is now readily available so what's going on what should we expect also, the most important information is that we are entering the age of Aquarius. So this is going to bring a very, very different energy in everybody's lives. This is, Aquarius is an air sign. So we're going to see a lot of innovations, a lot about community and the collective, working for the collective. Um, it's all about resources and new resources through technology and medical advances it's just going to be a lot and things are going to be very different as to how we have known things to be. But let's ask the cards and let's see what we should expect for 2021. I will be uploading 12 videos for the 12 star signs. Always check your star sign and your ascendant too. That's important because your star sign might not resonate for you, whereas the ascendant will. Please remember this is a general reading, so it can't apply for you 100%, but do please always pick those bits that you feel are messages that are coming for you. They are, they are sent to you just so you know what to expect. So, let's begin. Capricorns, it's your turn. Let's look at 2021 for you on a month-to-month -month basis and see what the energies are around each month. And then at the end, how will the year feel like and what should you, you know, expect really um, as an overview. Let's start. We have January. Now we have the Four of Cups. To me, it seems that January is still going to be one of those months where you feel like, Meh. I can't deal with this month. I can't deal with um, what is happening in the world right now. We have a pandemic. Uh, it's just going to be harder for you to see sort of like an, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. It's going to be more of like darkness and gloom. And we know you, dear Capricorns, you take things far too seriously sometimes. And you just need to like, and you have a hard time maybe seeing the, the lighter and brighter picture of things. So this is sort of how January is going to be for you. It's going to be more of like, yeah, I'm just like over it. I'm done. I'm just not going to make any planning. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to stay put and just wait for things to happen all around me. And then I'll just make the decision. So I'm going to make that step. Um, we know that you're not that much of a risk taker. You like to really analyze process, write them down, put them down in Excel spreadsheets. Whatever it may be, it's just you're like, nope, nope, none of all that. I'll just wait and see what happens and what, you know, this year is going to bring for me or what this month is going to bring for me. So that's that's how I feel that January is going to feel for you and it's going to happen. Now, when it comes to February, I have the Six of Pentacles. I get two messages here, dear Capricorns. You, It's either that you've um, loaned some money to someone and it, February is the month where you will contact this person and ask them to return this, this amount back to you. Or this is the, the month that you agreed between you that this, this loan is going to be returned to you. Or it also seems that someone that you love, someone you care, someone you trust, someone who's a friend will ask for financial help and you will have to decide how you're going to do how you're going to help them financially there's going to be i just feel that it's going to be a month a little bit stressful for you because of the finances you feel that you you because of third parties 
or people that you trust you have around you that your finances are not up to par, either because this person that you've loaned the money to has not returned it or you're expecting it to, or someone out of the blue is in a pickle, in a financial pickle, and you just need to help them out. When it comes to um, March, I just see March is going to be a very good um, month when it comes for your career because I do see for some of you promotions, raise, I see recognition, exposure out there, whatever it is, it's really going to boost your career, boost your confidence and it's just going to bring new opportunities for you and things to work on that you've been working for a long time and as I said in January, it just felt like nothing is moving, nothing is happening and you're just like, okay, I'm not going to deal with it right now, let's see how things happen. But in March, things are going to start happening for you, especially when it comes to work, when it comes to being recognized for the work that you've done, being recognized for something that you've uh, created. So th this is just absolutely wonderful, the wonderful way to start spring. And yes, and then we have April, we have the four of wands. So April is the fourth month, this is the four of wands. It just seems to me that it's going to be a wonderful month already for March, you know, with the uh, recognition and the raise of the promotion and, and just April is just going to feel like a huge party for you or a spiritual party where you just feel finally, I see, finally, I see how all that hard work is paying off. I see what I'm supposed to do. Now I know what I should be doing with my life or with my career, what direction I should be taking. It will just feel a lot um a lot happier a lot more uh carefree and light i'm going to say and then may we have the 7 of wands i love that 7 of wands is all about um looking inwards and understanding your strength where your um spiritual growth is at that it's you're in that spiritual growth that is keep that keeps giving you not only um, not only rewards, but I mean material rewards, but also spiritual rewards. You're going to start feeling that. You're going to start feeling a lot more connected with your guides or with the other side or with the spirit if you are spiritual or otherwise if you're not that spiritual, uh, you're going to start feeling more connected to God even or whatever it is that you believe in. You, you're just going to put that affection and attention towards that, towards spirit, the source, God, whatever it may be, because you will feel very grateful for what is, is given to you and what you're being taught at this point. And then we have the Knight of Cups when it comes to June. So I see a, a new way of seeing things, um, a, a, a new way of also seeing your relationships, and I just don't mean your um, romantic relationships, but all sorts of relationships that you have, every kind, friendships, relationships with your family, etc., etc. So I do see that you're going to see it from a different perspective. Some of you might even... Um, start dating someone new or start dating in general if you haven't been doing that for a while. So it just seems to me that it's going to be all of the, the focus is going to be around relationships and how to build on them and how to improve them and also what you can do to improve your stance in those relationships as well. And then we have July where we have the Knight of Wands. It's going to be a great month for you. You're going to feel on top of your game. You're going to feel very inspired as well, very creative. A lot of people are going to root for you and they're going to support you and you're going to feel that. Maybe even invest in your business if you have a business. Um, maybe even talking to sponsors if you are, I don't know, a, a, an influencer or a YouTuber or someone who's just started off and you need to start you know, bringing in some, some finance, a little bit of income in. I just feel that that's the, going to be the month that is going to really help you with that. August, and then we have the August full moon, which is the brightest and most powerful full moon of the year. Um, we have the magicians, so you can start manifesting. 
and and you will start manifesting and maybe even if you've started manifesting beforehand you're going to start seeing these manifestations happening and i love that it's just anything you put your mind to in august is just going to happen effortlessly for you just like that so just Keep that in mind and beware and just that that's absolutely wonderful and I'm just excited for you as well. So just set your intentions and go for it and allow for things to happen and they're going to happen in August. Then we have September, we have the world card. Wonderful because the world just means you feel that you are in the in the position, in, play, in the place that you should be. You, it, everything is going to feel right for you. You're going to feel that you're on the right path, that everything is going right. You might have hiccups along the way. You, we always do. This is life, right? But still, it's not going to feel out of place. You're not going to feel out of place. You're going to feel that I know what I'm doing. I know what my path is and I'm just, I'm going to keep going and you're going to just feel on top of the world, basically. Then we have October, Queen of Swords. It seems to me that October is going to be that month. A lot I have a lot of Queen of Swords around October and November for a lot of the star signs. So um, I have to check the astrological events around that time to see what is happening. But I do see that this is going to be a month where is you're going to be more focused, more... Um, maybe even you're going to have the support of... A woman that is an air sign that is really going to um, take over more responsibility for you and allow you to have more freedom to focus on the things that really matter for you and that you're really good at. That's how I feel. So, and it's going to be a month where things, um, it's just, there are going to be a lot of responsibilities to, for you to deal with, but you'll be fine. You'll just deal with them just fine but just so you know that October is going to be a busy month for you and then November we have the seven of pentacles so all that hard work is going to start paying off for you financially too you're going to actually see it in a tangible way you're going to see it in a very tangible way and it's going to start feeling good like oh all that work all that effort all that blood sweat and tears is really paying off and I you know my intuition was right because if you listen to, listen to your intuition, you're go, you're just going to be led towards the direction that you're supposed to be going anyway. So I'm just loving that. I'm just loving that. You know, if you've been, if you're at school or if at, if you're at college or university and you've just you know submitted a paper or a thesis, whatever it may be, I just feel that you're going to get really positive feedback as well from your teachers, your professors. Uh, you're going to get positive feedback all, all, all around and it's just going to really uplift you and it's going to go into this, um, into building those foundations that you've been building on. And December, I have, yes, I'm excited. I get the Empress card. So some of you are going to find out that you're pregnant, especially some of you who have been trying for a long time and you weren't even sure that that's going to happen naturally so I do see a natural way of conceiving for a lot of you um, Capricorns I also feel that the focus if you you're not going to be pregnant or you're not planning for any more children then I do feel the focus is going to be on your children or, or on a child um, more being um, just offering more of a grounded energy around the house being more present as well. You've been so busy the last few months that maybe you just feel that you need to put that focus back into your family because they need you. It's Christmas time, December, you know, it's just the end of the year. Um, and that, that you're just going to do everything possible just to spend more time with your children, more time with your family and do more fun things and more productive activities together. That's how I feel. So, when it comes to the um, how the year is going to feel, what's going to bring the yearly overview card, I get the Ace of Wands. I love that. It's going to be a very productive and inspiring year for you. Everything that maybe 2020 didn't bring for you or did not really um, happen or things that didn't that you worked on but didn't happen in 2020 I just feel that 2021 is going to bring but but not but but buckloads um 
it's going to be a year where you're going to be out there working hard, being inspired, trying new things, taking risks and things um, and things happening for you. It's just, I can't explain it. I just think this is, this is going to be very pivotal, important and uh, I just feel this year is going to be very important, very um, a pivotal year as well and very much about your own empowerment, your own, uh, your own empowerment, feeling empowered and I absolutely love that for you dear Capricorn. Now if this did not resonate, always pick and choose bits and pieces from this reading that do resonate for you because it is a general reading. Otherwise, just go back and check your Ascendant as well because I'm sure a combo of both or just the Ascendant or just the star sign will make a lot more sense for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Till next time, goodbye.